One of the coolest features of your FortiGate is the addition of dashboards and widgets. So let's move to dashboards, click on the plus sign and name our dashboard. Now we will look at the device store dashboard. So let's name it device. Let's name it devices. Okay. And from here we will add up a widget and let's choose the device inventory widget. All right, add widget. And from here you get tons of information on the different devices that your FortiGate actually stored in its memory. Now you can look at the software operating system, you can look at the vendor itself, you can look at the different interfaces where they were recognized, you can actually look and create an address object and so on. Now we will look at two CLI commands that help you query different devices or show up all the devices that were stored in the memory. Coming up. The addition of dashboards and widgets really makes your FortiGate much more 21st century. Now you can add up lots of information. This is my DHCP monitor. You can add up a widget or a dashboard that includes the different sessions that are happening on your FortiGate. But let's look at the device inventory, which is probably one of the most nicest things that were added up. Now we will not look at the graphical user interface. Let's use two CLI commands that will help you to list all devices on your FortiGate or query a specific device using its IP address. All right, so click on the command line. We can access the device store, the inventory itself, which is a database in the memory. We can access it using a diag uh, command. So we will use the diag user device store. Now you can play around with different options, but let's look at two CLI commands that will help you once to list all devices and second to query a specific device. So the first one is the device memory list. Now this will list all devices that are actually on the 48 memory. You can see the uh, actual IP address, you can see the MAC address, you can also see the vendor itself, the type of device, when it was last seen, the operating system, the host name, and so on. All right, so for the next, next command, we will use uh, mostly the same, that is memory. And here we will actually query a specific device. We can query it using its MAC address or its IP address. So let's use the IP address. And that is 10.0.5.7. And here we get the records for that specific device. Um, there it is. So the vendor is Apple, the OS operating system is Mac OS, and so on. 